I'm Samantha. I'm here today with Bob Oswalks from Bob's Wellbread. You're a boulanger. Yes, artisan baker. Yeah. Artisan baker, boulanger. And we're here at Malibu, Malibu, Farms. Malibu Farms, and they're hosting a dinner tonight. That's correct, yes. Which looks lovely. There's this long table set out. Very farm to table. Yeah. So I, I, you're a boulanger, and you make your own bread, right. uh, which is all organic. <laughs> Yes, so I, I make, um, these are a sampling of my olive bread and my country Levant. Both of which I tried, which are delicious. They, uh, they start with a sourdough culture. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a Levant culture, so it's flour and water that actually um, ferments, and that way I put in 20% of fermenting um, um, culture, okay. which serves as the yeast. So the breads are strictly flour, water, and salt. Now, what's also really interesting is your background. You were in the Hollywood scene in marketing at Sony and at other places, yeah. and this was kind of a passion, which you turned into your your uh, my, my calling. Um, your calling. Uh, yeah, I spent 30 years working in entertainment. For, most recently, for the last 11 years, I was president of worldwide marketing at Sony for their TV division. and left during the recession and had to figure out what I was going to do while I was waiting for people to return my calls and answer my resume. Um, now, what made you want to get into this type of bread? Because there's so many ways you can prepare right. bread. Why organic? Why, you know, sustainable farming, being part of this community? Well, I love the idea of doing something that has simple ingredients. And when you when you make something by hand, and all my breads are hand mixed and handmade, so when you make something by hand, there's a magic to it because people know that when they know that they're eating something that the, the baker or the maker that actually touched, they, they sense there's a magic to it. And the idea of using natural ingredients, I mean, when you're making something like bread and you've only got three ingredients, they have to be the best ingredients. Yeah. So the flour is from Petaluma from Central Melling, who does some of the best bakeries in San Francisco and the Bay Area. It's French sea salt. It's spring water. Wow. Uh, and, All the and best that's it. My, my olives are from the San Inez Valley where we live. Wow. Uh, my herbs of Provence are from our garden that I grow my own, all the herbs that I dry and, and blend together. And the lemon zest is from our trees. And a, apart from obviously being great for the environment on so many levels, um, it tastes different. It really does. I feel like you can really taste the difference in something that's made in a factory line and with machines as opposed to with fresh ingredients, simple ingredients. If you go into your grocery store and you pick up a loaf of bread and you feel a loaf of bread and you can feel my bread they, they have a crunch to them and they have when you taste the crust you can just see you know what you got three parts of the bread you've got the crust and you've got the crumb and you've got well you've got two parts really but there's mm -hmm. that little layer between the crust and the crumb yeah. but when you go to into a supermarket and buy a loaf of bread, first of all, you look at the ingredients. And if you've got more than three ingredients, flour, water, and salt, why buy it? Right. Because you've got niacin and riboflavin. You've got all these additives and preservatives when you, if you're buying something natural, that's all you need. So, Bob, you were saying that you can really taste the difference when something's made with just the simplest, best ingredients as opposed to all the extras that are thrown in on a bread that you would find on the shelf at, like a supermarket. Well, as I said, my breads are made with three ingredients, flour, water, and salt. And when you're using that few ingredients, you want the best ones possible. So it's artisan flour from Petaluma, central milling. It's French sea salt. And then it's spring water. And then my, my sourdough culture is just the flour and the water. But it's fed every day, twice a day. So it doesn't ever get too sour. And it's got a nice mellowness and a depth of flavor to it. But when you go into a grocery store and you feel one of those spongy loads, yeah. You just and you can see that it doesn't have a crumb because it's been over mixed and it's very tight. And you can see if it's got 15 ingredients, all these preservatives. Why buy it? You want the freshest things possible. These loaves will last a week. That's amazing. Yeah. And where can we find your bread? I know that you know you all, you do a lot of events like this. Your your bread is at some wineries. In the I'm in a lot of wineries in the San Inez Valley. I, I do business with all the different wineries, supplying them bread, doing their events. I do a lot of the restaurants in Los Alamos um, and a lot of bread events up there and I'm actually in escrow on a building there right now at 550 Bell 
Street. And you can find my breads online at um, bobswellbread.com. You heard it here, bobswellbread.com. It's amazing. Thank you so much, Bob. Thank you very much. <laughs>